Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me this evening for Mindful Monday. This evening, we are going to be reading this absolutely adorable book called Discovering the Hidden Woodland World. Oh, this looks absolutely amazing. We are going to be reading all about nature. I love it. Between 25,000 and 500,000 insects and other animals live in a tree. Depending on location and season, even when a tree has dried or been cut down, it is still home to these creatures. Isn't that wonderful? Even when a tree is not growing, it's still home to many, many animals and insects. Sneaky red-breasted nut hatches like to hide the food they collect in holes in trees. Oh my. The little birds will even steal seeds from other birds to eat. Mm, that sounds a little naughty to me. A little head hedgehog sleeps through it all. Can you find him? Hmm, where's the hedgehog? Can you all find him? He must be sleeping. Can you see him? Who sees him? Oh, I, oh, is he on this page? No. Is he on this page? That's right. There he is. Right there. He's cute. Little hedgehog. Don't forget, we'll be doing hedgehog hodge projects in the fall. He's all snuggly. He's cute. Moss and lynches grow on trees and stumps. Lynches form when fungi and algae combine. Oh my. Worms have no arms. There's one. Oh no, that looks like a snake. I think these are worms. Worms have no arms, legs, or eyes, and breathe through their skin. Oh, that's very interesting. Every worm has both a male and a female part. Isn't that amazing? I think that is. Hmm. The stag beetle is one of the largest insects you'll find around trees. Hmm. Must be this one. That looks pretty large. The male can grow to more than three inches long. What? The female is smaller. Do not pick up a stag beetle. A bite from their mandibles or jaws really hurts. Oh, no. Mm, that does not sound fun at all. You know, funny story. This weekend, I was out checking out the trees in the backyard, and there were all these really, really pretty beetles. They were about this big. I guess you could say about two inches. And they were a really pretty green, like a green kind of, I don't know, it changed to like blue and yellow, different colors in the sun. But these beetles were all over one of the trees. And when I went to go look at it, it chased me in the backyard. I had to run all over. It scared me. So I was, 
I was running as fast as I could and the dogs were running with me. And so I had to run in the garage and close the door and hide. <laughs> beetles can be scary when they're chasing after you. And apparently this beetle can be scary too if it bites you. Right? Okay. So insects chew a yummy soft wood layer under bark called cambium. Mm -mm. I wonder if that's what that beetle was doing on our tree. And they leave a path like a maze behind them. Oh my. I wonder if that tree in my backyard has a maze in it. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> Mom jokes. Look at that. That's so interesting. Oh. I would love to hear your stories if any of you have seen your beetles in your backyard on your trees. And if you've seen any of this, if you have, have mom and dad send me a text or an email and we can share your stories. Very interesting. Oh, this one's about spiders. Spiders build nests and fungi to catch bugs. Hmm. Caterpillars build cocoons to turn into butterflies. Without trees, a lot of creatures wouldn't be able to eat or live. Oh, wow. See, trees are so important. And I think they're very beautiful. Look at that. Aren't trees pretty? Yes, they are. Mice and shrews carefully build nests under roots and in hollows of stumps. Weasels are lazy animals. Hmm, I guess they are, huh? They don't dig their own houses. I didn't know that. They just move into someone else's burrow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, I guess that's okay if, if nobody's living in it, right? Wow. There they go. Moving into someone else's burrow. They're borrowing a burrow. <laughs> wow, we're learning so much this evening. Too many insects could kill a tree. Oh, that's sad. But wait, don't worry. Birds snatch them up for a delicious bug snack. Ooh, that sounds kind of gross. <laughs> Woodpeckers peck, peck, peck holes to get into the tree. The birds earn food in exchange for protecting the tree from the bugs. Oh, look at that. They're taking care of each other. I like that fancy fact. Look at that. There they are. Oh, Ooh, this book is pretty buggy. Mmm. Look at the pretty butterfly. Snails a gastropod, mallox, and usually smaller than your fingernail. Hmm. Although the largest can be as long as your thumb, they don't have backbones or chain shells. Their shells grow with them. When they feel scared, Snails pull up inside to stay safe, all snuggly in their shell. Look at that. Like a turtle. Oh, look at that one. I think he, he might read this next one for us. What do you think? No? Okay. I'll go ahead and read it then. Smart field mice. There. No, it is important to prepare for winter time when they won't be able to get much food. They gather and snore. I'm sorry. 
They probably do snore in the wintertime. They gather and store lots of nuts and other goodies that, that they borrow from others when they burrow in trees. That. This book is so interesting. <gasps> oh, I just had a squirrel moment. Look at that squirrel. Isn't he cute? Rumbly old tree trunks and rotting stumps are important for the natural world. They provide many small animals and insects a home and food. Can you name at least four you can see here? Hmm. Four of what? What are we naming? Four different animals? Four different tree trunks? I think we're naming four different animals. I see birds. I see squirrels. I see mice. And I see these adorable little critters. American Martins are a type of weasel. I think that's these. And they live in trees in Alaska. Ooh, Alaska's so cold. They do not hibernate. Martins hunt at night for voles, birds, and squirrels to eat. Mm -mm. Have you ever looked inside a tree? Squirrels, owls, and other birds nest in hollow areas, and insects hide under the bark. Do you see an owl? I don't think I see an owl. Can anybody see an owl? Who? Who? Who sees an owl? All right, if anybody sees an owl, put it in the chat and you'll get a special treat. A seed from a tree grows into a seedling, a sapling or a young tree, and finally a large tree when the tree dies. Its wood and stump and roots decay and decompose into rich nutrients in the soil, which starts to process all over. Look at that. Then it helps all these different animals and insects all over again. Isn't that cool? Oh man, look at this. This is an awesome page. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of this page and I'll post it to our Facebook page. Let's start with, can you catch me? If you see a flying light at the edge of a wooded area, you're in luck. You spotted a firefly, sometimes called a lightning bug. Bug. It's only the male that can fly while the female crawls on the limbs of a tree and along the grass. Why do they light up? To attract each other. Wow. Look at that. Very cool. It's this one right here. Oh, and this one is a woodland robber. A weasel may have short legs, but it is extremely agile and a great predator. Thanks to its slender body, a weasel can squeeze into almost any burrow where it's still full. Oh, where it steals food 
or hunts its prey. Weasels do not hibernate. Hay keeping sneaky into its nest all winter long. Mm, the woodland robber. That's cute. A larva, for most of its life, it takes a long time for a stag beetle to become an adult. After the female lays her eggs in decomposing wood, it takes up to six years for the larvae to pulpate and hatch. What? The life of an adult beetle is short. A mere month or two. Oh, that's sad. And it only and its only task is to reproduce. Hmm. Interesting. How old is this tree? How can we tell? Count the rings in a stump or a felt tree to find its age. Interesting. Count the rings. And the rest of this, I'm going to go ahead and post on our Facebook page because it'll be much easier to see and understand. Thank you so much for joining me tonight and reading our book. And I cannot wait until next week when we follow up with our plant and grow woodland forest. We're going to make these absolutely adorable little woodland forest plants. All right, y'all. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful evening. And I will see you next Monday for Mindful Monday. When we plant these plants in this little itty bitty mushroom. Y'all have a great night. See you then. Bye.